give the floor to the Honorable Vian Pillay to ask question 36-2020. You have the floor, sir. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Say. Honorable Speaker, say, I rise to ask question 36 of 2020 and the name in today's order paper. And the question is to the Honorable Minister for Employment, Productivity, Industry, Relations, Youth and Sports. Can the Honorable Minister highlight the proposed role of the <coughs> Youth for Climate Action initiative under the Ministry to engage youth and stakeholders in mitigating climate change impacts? Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Sir. Give the floor to the Minister for Employment, Productivity, Industrial Relations, Youth and Sports, the Honourable Pavin Bala. You have the floor, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, and I also thank Honourable Clay. Mr. Speaker, sir, before I provide my response to the Honourable Members of this August House, please allow me to quote from the SDG Summit meeting in September 2019 attended by the heads of state and high-level government representative, quote. The 2030 agenda is our promise to the children and youths of today so that they may achieve their full potential and carry the torch of sustainable development to future generations, unquote. Yeah. Mr. Speaker say, the climate change is a complex global problem that is interlinked with many issues, such as economic growth, human rights, and poverty reduction. As the speaker say, aligned to the international framework and government agenda, Youth for Climate Action, it is proposed to support the 30 million trees in 15 years initiative, Mr. Speaker say. In addition, Mr. Speaker say, Youth for Climate Change Action initiative is meant to foster an approach between the ministries and stakeholders, such as Ministry of Forestry, in achieving priority areas through shared resources. Mr. Speaker said this also in turn aligns to the Fiji's National Development Plan. Mr. Speaker said Youth for the Climate Action was officially launched in collaboration with Ministry of Youth, Ministry of Forest, and Ministry of Employment in Sambetonendi last month. And at this juncture, I would like to thank the, my colleague Minister, Minister for Forest. Mr. Speaker, say all in all, this integrated approach ensures our youth are well versed with where we are going as a nation and as a world when it comes to climate action. Mr. Speaker, say, through this initiative, youths will be introduced to skills in gardening, tree planting, and climate change mitigation, combining training, education, and a premium on youth-centered innovation that will make them better Fijian and global citizens and better equipped to enter the workforce. Mr. Speaker say, youths will be empowered to become champions of climate change and will be addressing the issues head on making healthier decisions for themselves and their communities while inspiring others to do the same. Mr. Speaker said this is in line with youth as champions of climate action that has been at the forefront of Fiji's leadership of COP23 and beyond under the Honorable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker said every small environment protection action we do today, Mr. Speaker said, such as planting trees and collecting rubbish, even it is not ours, contributes to our environment sustainability and giving a beautiful and safe future for the generations to come. Life lessons in climate action leads to life giving and life reviving actions in ensuring our beautiful earth, delicate human and natural ecosystem are preserved for the future generation. This, Mr. Speaker say, is the vision an ultimate goal for the Youth for Climate Action Initiative intends to promote. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the Honorable, Honorable William Ngavoka. Supplementary question. Honorable Speaker, the youth can be very unforgiving 
when someone is inconsistent or dishonest. For example, how can Fiji first claim to be the champion of climate change when under their watch, dredging and mining is happening in the Singatoka River and causing, and causing devastation of apocalyptic proportion? How can, you, how can you claim to be a champion when you're devastating the Singatoka River mouth? And, and incidentally, Honorable Speaker, the people of Mba and Mba River have also reached out to us, reached out to us, complaining about the Mba River mining. Thank you. The honorable Member, don't deviate from what I Just ask your supplementary question. Should I ask again? Should I ask again? Ask again. How can, how can they claim to be championing climate change through the youth when they are inconsistent and outright dishonest with the way they are treating the mother of the Singapore River? It's devastated. How, how can you say that you are champion? Please answer. Honorable, honorable Minister, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Say, I stand by what I have said that youths will be the champions for the climate action. And we have rolled out the program for the youth that we have appointed. What the Honorable Minister has asked has got nothing to do with this subject matter. Mr. Speaker, say, thank you. Honorable Salud, is this a supplementary question? Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I know the youths oh. being used uh, in uh, climate change initiatives One like overseas. The question I'd like to ask the Honorable Minister is that uh, how have been the youth used or involved in higher decision making, uh, for example, uh, for this initiative, Youth for Climate Change? How are the youths being uh, consulted or involved uh, in this uh, initiative? rather than just taking them overseas uh, to be used as to be seen by this government that we are engaging youths in mitigation climate change uh, impacts. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Minister, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Say, the youths of this country are listening. They are listening what opposition feels about the future of this country. And uh, it's the sad day when a honorable member says that we are using youths of this country. Yes. Mr. Speaker, say, let me make it very clear, crystal clear. We don't use people. Unlike opposition, Mr. Speaker, say, they use and throw. We don't do that. Let me make it very clear. Mr. Speaker, say, as I mentioned, that last week, we have officially launched this program and we have rolled out a program for the youth of this country. The day when we launched, we had around 200 youths, Mr. Speaker, say, who took part in tree planting. After that, Mr. Speaker, say, we went to Lotoka. We went to Lotoka. We had a workshop, awareness on the plastic ban. Mr. Speaker, say, I think you people better go now to bar. <laughs> Yesterday, you people were in Singatoka. I suggest you people go to bar now. I will see you people in the weekend there. Mr. Speaker, say, coming back to this, I can assure this house that we have got very energetic youths on our youth council. And they will assist my ministry in terms of empowering the youths of this country. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sir. Thank you, Honorable Kurundrani. You have the floor. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, a supplementary question. Uh, it's a shame that uh, the Honorable Minister has just said that we are not using people. Last year, the Ministry of Youth, with its top executives, visited my village uh -huh. to, to plant 
main groups. But uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, our, our village has already had an uh, NGO that handles uh, mangrove planting. We did our own nursery, we do our own planting. They just came and spent half an hour in the village. What's plant tea? What is your plant? Plant about, <coughs> Mr. Speaker, sir, I'm, I'm saying order. this. This is also like <coughs> order. Also like at Koratonga village. Or, my question, my question, Mr. Order. Speaker, sir, my, my question, what criteria, what criteria the Ministry of Youth is using to select the villages where they're going to promote the action of uh, climate change? Honourable, honourable members, before I give the floor to Roger, supplementary question is a supplementary question. Simple. You ask in relation to the first question that was asked of the minister. Ask that. Simple. You get the answer. I give the floor to the honourable minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Say, very straightforward. It's a very open concept. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We move on. The, the third oral question for today, I give the floor to